The foundation of my cooking, then, now, and in the future, is, is always been the ingredients. You know, I'm very passionate about, about produce, uh, sourcing new produce and, and using the best. There's something about growing it, nurturing it, and then cooking with it, or feeling it, or, or cutting it up. It just, you know, it feels like passion. As an early age, I just felt as though this is what I want to do. You know, it just felt natural to, to come up with dishes and put food on a plate. In my early life, I was very blessed. You know, we, we lived on a farm. It was exciting. There was always something to do. Unfortunately, when I was, you know, eight or nine, we lost the farms and uh, we basically moved out west to Sydney. And it was rough. It was really, really hardcore and tough. 15 year old, you know, big kids from Blacktown didn't become chefs. The defining moment was when I first started my apprenticeship and the first day I went into a serious kitchen and I saw food that I'd never seen before. The lights just went on and I thought, oh my God, you know, this is what I want to do. It was a, a love affair. And luckily enough, I fell in love with, with food and, and the rest is history. I was so excited, you know. I, I remember going to work every day thinking, how happy am I to be going to work? It was really hard, believe it or not, to discipline me back in those days. You know, I was a pretty wild child. I was a shocker. And knowing in a kitchen that if I didn't do what I was told, I was out of my ear. So I actually really enjoyed that discipline part. You know, I thrived on the discipline. The first five years was basically learning how to cook. And then the next sort of three years was learning how to use ingredients and simplicity in food and, and letting the ingredients talk rather than the, the actual cooking technique. Every restaurant that I've, I've owned or built kind of made you strive more and more and made you feel ambitious again. Walking to Aria every day to me is, you know, it's a highlight. You know, I was only 30 when we started Aria, you know, a, a magnificent restaurant on Sydney Harbour looking over the Opera House. And it was a massive gamble, a massive risk, you know, that, that restaurant cost a lot of money and it was, you know, a big restaurant, you know, had 50 staff, I think, when we started. Now it has about 80 staff. It put us in the big league. You know, one of the reasons why I did Chiswick Restaurant was it's the food that I like to eat and the food that I like to cook. And having a garden there and, and making it themed around that garden, it feels natural. When I'm cooking at home, I just want to be by myself and just create. You know, I love that peacefulness and just doing it in my own time and finding it really therapeutic. My father ended up moving back to the land. Him and I own a property together, which supply the restaurants with fat lamb and, and a bit of beef cattle. He's an inspiration. He's on the farm and he's producing great stuff and that's what he loves. You know, I still find myself blessed that, you know, I'm, I'm still doing something that I, that I love, you know, every day. There's nothing else I could be. There's nothing else I want to be. There's nothing else that excites me. Cooking and running restaurants is my life. To me, it, it all revolves around food and, and I couldn't be happier.